Are you crazy? Thing to get used to about riding this scooter is well i'm 45 years old <laughs> if i wipe out <laughs> the old town of barrisonburg's gonna see it and that's kind of embarrassing <laughs> I'm pretty impressed with the whole idea of this scooter. I mean, you can get around Harrisonburg easily on this thing at a fraction of the energy prices that you would pay to drive around. But it's cold today and my eyes are watering and my hands are starting to freeze up from just trying this thing out. Here's the thing, you have to get the Bird app, you have to get a QR code, all that kind of stuff, but it doesn't cost that much money at all. If I were gonna ride one of these all the time, I would be the geek probably wearing shoulder pads, helmets, knee pads, because when you're coming down this hill right here, the whole front end is shaking. There's not a lot of shock absorption. It's one of those things where you could run somebody over if you're on the sidewalk and there's rules about all this, you know, where you can leave them when you're done and all that kind of stuff. It's a big deal, but it's catching on. I see people riding these things around Harrisonburg all the time and I'm pretty impressed. I don't know how much longer I've got on this thing, so I'm going to try to ride it just a little bit farther. So I guess this does come with a, a bell, but not a whistle. It's kind of cheesy. And here's the thing, I don't know if old people like myself, if this is the thing that you're gonna wanna drive around on. I think some people that are more active than others, sure, it's a thing. Are they safe? I think they can be. Harrisonburg is a, a pretty nice town. Uh, James Madison University is a very large campus, so this time of day, it's extraordinarily crowded. So we came to kind of the outskirts of town to run around on this thing because I don't wanna fall in front of a bunch of 18 to 22 year olds. Just saying, I'm not Casey Neistat, you know what I mean? So this whole concept of bird scooters was invented by the same people who invented Uber. And they're in over a hundred cities now worldwide and tens of thousands of people are renting scooters every single day. I think that it's economical to an extent. I mean, that's kind of the, the push behind it. But at the same time, I'm not sure that it would justify, let's say me converting my whole lifestyle around a scooter to save money. I don't think it saves that much money. I mean, you'd have to do a study of your own personal finances to make that determination. Obviously, if you live too far out of town, it's not gonna save you that much money to rent scooters to drive all the way into town. And also, as far as it being dangerous, here's the thing, you know, I'm, I'm clumsy these days. And immediately though, just from, you know, your brain sometimes forgets that you're 45 and not 25 or 15. And as soon as I jumped on that thing, I immediately wanted just to start getting it, you know, down the road and just having a great time. But then the mature me kicks in and says, if you fall, you're gonna have to go to the emergency room. And so I slowed it down. Going downhill, the, you feel every bump. And so it kind of jars your hands and I'm thinking, wow, you could, you could flip here, you could wreck and things like that. So is it dangerous? I wouldn't say it's dangerous, but you do have to be careful. It's like any other motorized vehicle on the road. You've got to be careful. The other thing, and this is gonna sound stupid if you're, if you're younger than me, this is gonna sound probably insane. But in my mind, I was thinking that the motor only kicked in at certain times and things like that. But really all you've gotta do is hit the little you know accelerator and you're gone and the thing flies. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not exactly what you'd call the skinniest person in the world and it takes off with a lot of with a lot of torque and I was like, "Holy cow, this thing this thing goes." So I was kind of impressed with that. It goes well uphill and downhill you just have to hit the brakes a few times. It has the the 
few times and it does have this little bell that you can ring. It was kind of cheesy to me, but it was fun. But I can see this thing expanding and I can see more and more people using it. Technically, we could go into town every day from where we live and use the scooter as long as the weather was okay and be fine. But again, I don't think that's cost effective for us. The best thing to do would be to just buy a scooter like that as opposed and you know charging at home as opposed to renting one. So I don't think America is gonna be quick to convert to the scooter craze all at one time. But I do think that between the scooter and other innovations that a lot of people are gonna be finding other ways to navigate around towns like Harrisonburg as opposed to driving a gas hog around town. That's just my opinion. Now, even though I was impressed with the power that it had and the speed in the scooter, cycling community that community bird has a lot of critics and people that say that it doesn't have a lot of power it doesn't it's not fast enough for me it was plenty but apparently if you're in that community though it has its critics and so if you're looking into the whole scooter thing and maybe even buying a scooter do your research it's like anything else the more research you do even if it's surface level google kind of research even if it's that do your research before you buy one and before you buy one i would rent one a few times i had a great time so would i recommend my wife carolyn on a scooter you know to rent one Yes, because my wife is crazy. She loves roller coasters backwards and forwards going 900 miles an hour. That is my wife. And I do too, but I'm not as crazy as she is. And so I can see her getting on one of these things and trying to make it go as fast as it can and then looking for scooters to buy to go even faster because she's crazy that way. And if you're that kind of crazy daredevil kind of person, hey man, this is, this is a great universe that could open up to you even if you're my age and older. And by the way, I keep kind of throwing shade on people my age and older, but people my age and older rent these things all the time. You see them all over town. So don't let the whole scooter young crowd thing discourage you from picking up one of these. Give it a try. I'll tell you one thing, you do get a workout on them. You're having to stand up, you're having to move it around, and you're having to use body parts. That's always good. And it gets you out of the car, and it gets you out of that same old routine over and over again. I was pretty impressed, and I really enjoyed it. One of the things I have learned in my 45 years is that people are afraid of change, even change that could benefit them and make them better, make their company better, or whatever the case is. People are terrified of change, and I fall into that category too sometimes. And so here's what I say. Give something a try. Give it an attempt, a few attempts, to, before you put an opinion on it. And with these scooters, yeah, I think they can be dangerous. I think they're, they're, there's a risk there but there's a risk every time you get in your car and it's like anything else you got to kind of learn to do it you got to you got to learn the ways of the road which i do not know yet i mean i've got to do a lot of reading before i even get back on one of those things and the reason why is because there are certain places that you can leave them certain places that you can't uh, there are rules of the road, so to speak, and you need to know those things before you get on them, but getting on it one time isn't going to hurt you just to see what it's like. I think they have like a 5 or $6 package to kind of start you out. Give that a try and see if you like it, and hey, you never know. It might be your new thing. I can see where if a town is saturated with these scooters, it could become sort of intrusive and ugly. There have been times here in Harrisonburg where we've seen 30 piled up at one corner and it just kind of looks tacky, but it is pretty innovative. 